Monologue B. I didn't want to go last, but Keith said I had to. So, um, alright. You've heard some things that are, quite frankly, insane. Whatever. But I'm going to let you know the real story right now. First of all, it was my idea to steal the lawn gnomes. Why? Because it's a symbol of resistance to the capitalist society. Like, people are buying things. They are using their money to buy lawn gnomes. Of course, I can't explain this to Jameson or Bradley because they're idiots, right? So I'm just like, gnomes. And they're like, yeah. And that's the level at which their brains work. So we go up to the first house and there are seven lawn gnomes. Just like the whole, you know, Snow White story. You've got Sleepy, Grumpy, Doc. Whatever the other ones are. And so they're waiting in the truck and they're like, Burma, you go do it. We're two chickens. So I go up to the first lawn gnome. The lights come on in the house. It's my English teacher, Miss Lewis. She sees me. I also happen to know that she is a dog enthusiast. She has like five Doberman Pinschers. And I hear them. It's like the sound of death, right? So I'm like, ah! And I shout to the idiots in the truck. And they took off without me. Three dogs shoot out of the front door like they were shot out of a cannon. There's foaming spittle or blood shooting from their jaws, so I run. And there's like a hedge, so I try to jump over the hedge. And my foot gets caught. And I face plant on the other side. Two dogs grab my ankles and start pulling me to Miss Lewis. So I'm screaming, right? Well, I'm like, help, help. And Miss Lewis is like, get him, tear him apart. Which well, isn't even proper grammar. So I'm bashing these dogs in the head with my cell phone. And they're just like, oh, we don't feel pain. We're just killing machines. And I'm like, this is it. I'm going to die here. I'm going to die trying to steal garden gnomes. And I didn't even get one. And then I look up at Miss Lewis, and she's like, Burma, is that you? And I'm like, these dogs are going to kill me. Ugh. And she's like, you cheated on your Romeo and Juliet quiz, didn't you? And I'm like, what? And then she sprays everything. Just me, the dogs, the hedge, the world is on fire. I wake up two days later in an empty inflatable pool behind a Walmart. My friends haven't even bothered to call me. Apparently they had a great time. Thank you. <laughs>